Susan Mickey, a member of the British Communist Party and also a member of SAGE, that were the architects of lockdown policies and everything else in this country, is now proudly joining the World Health Organization. And we're going to tell you the problem with this. In the words of uh, Don Corleone, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. We thought that we, we had freedom date. We got rid of all the ma mandates and everything else. We could move on. These people are going to go away. Give, give them some honors and just get rid of them. Chris Whitty and everyone. But no, 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 no. They, they are not giving up. They are getting promoted. They're getting upgraded. Susan Mickey is one of them. The communist Susan Mickey, who has actually, it's not just her views. It's not just in her membership of the Communist Party. She actually uses her politics to implement her policies in real life on science, so-called science. Now, that, that is a, a big problem here. So they, they send a massive congratulations to Professor Mickey for being appointed the chair of the World Health Organization's Technical Advisory Group for Behavioral Insights and Science for Health. Behavioral. That's her thing, by the way. That's her expertise. Behavioral means how can we manipulate the public? That was the whole thing. And they, they were quite open about this. It's not some sort of conspiracy. Uh, after the first lockdown, the reports came out that the British government and many other governments too, but the UK government used many psychologists and behavioral scientists uh, and many other PR firms to actually uh, create Project Fear in order for to people to actually obey. Because they actually thought that there were a lot of British public would not really even voluntarily stay at home. They were actually proven wrong because they scared them so much that there was a big chunk of society that were just staying at home anyway. You didn't really have to send out drones around the country to name and shame people. But for those who don't know, Professor Mickey is a member of a communist party. For 40, it's now been over 40 years. A massive uh, supporter of Jeremy Corbyn, uh, given £14,000 to the Labour Party in 2018 under Corbyn. And she's also the wife of a former Corbyn advisor, Andrew Murray. And also, in case you don't remember this part of it, when she went on TV on Channel 5, I believe, and advocated for measures and mandates to stay forever. We'll need to keep these going in the long term. And that will be good not only for COVID, but also to reduce other... So when you say long term... NHS is sorry to interrupt, to Professor Mickey. Do, do you know when you say long term, what do you mean by that? Sure. How long? Very quickly. Um, I think... Forever, to some extent. Because <laughs> Why didn't you say that? Oh, last gosh, forever. oh, that's so funny. It's so funny, guys. Forever. Yeah, YOLO. Let's just do it anyway. Everything's going to be fine. Let's just listen to the, the psych psychotic nutter who's going to control your life forever. And now she's going to be um, being promoted to the international level, multinational level with the World Health Organization. She said this once in during the first lockdown, just before the first lockdown, actually, in 2020. China, China has a socialist collective system. Whatever criticisms people may have. Uh, uh, really? Oh, okay. That's irrelevant, apparently. Not an individualistic, um, consumer-orientated, profit-driven society, badly damaged by 20 years of failed neoliberal economic policies. <laughs> okay. The, the, the irony is that new liberalism that we now have, or this so-called capitalism, is no longer actual free market capitalism, the corporatism. So there are not much differences when it comes to globalist neoliberalism and China's socialism. <laughs> they're all the same thing now because they're all about centralized powers and it's all about collectivism. It's no longer about the actual individual uh, autonomy and self-determination. Bring back actual free market capitalism, not corporatism, and everything is going to be fine. This, this system that we have, whether from the this, this so-called capitalist side, in the name of neoliberal globalism, they've created their own collectivism as well. And then the commies and the Marxists have so always had it anyway. It's because since the 60s, they infiltrated it. They infiltrated every aspect of our system and they turned free market capitalism into what we now have. And China is a perfect example. Technically, they have a capitalist system. They're no longer communist, but they're a national socialist country. That's all it is. So... They cheat the system. That's what they do. So they could control the public. It is an absolute mental situation right now in, in the world. That's why people are losing their minds. But we're not going to give up. That's why I'm launching my new campaign. I'm going to go around the country with my tour, Build Back Britain, to oppose Build Back Better. And we have the new merch as well, uh, thanks to uh, our, um, one of our subscribers, uh, Anna, who's a graphic designer who actually did this. 
Um, so definitely look, check out the link in the description. We've got all the different colors and for all the millions of genders. <laughs> I, I need to stop making that joke. Two genders, let's go and um, sort it out. Um, and yeah, get your, yeah, get your merchandise. Get ready for the, the nationwide tours. We are going to start in the big cities. We're going to go around uh, Manchester, Cardiff, London and many other places as well. So stay tuned. We're going to get some uh, good influential people involved with this campaign as well around the country. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to come back in half an hour. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.